Caden McDonald, small forward craftsman from the Torquay Tigers Football Club. I'm Jarrah. I am the halfback flank from the University of Cheap Disposals. I'm Connor Rogers, born and bred out of the Banyul Footy Factory. I'm here with frontline ruckman Bailey McKay. I'm here with. Number one key forward. Welcome to the Waddle Park Game Day Vlogs. Myself, Connor Rogers, Will Taylor, Jarrah and the Marmalade Boys are going to be playing in a season together for the Waddle Park Animals in the Vaffa Thirds. We've been training a lot. We've been trying to integrate with the Waddle Park Footy Club. <laughs> Who's coming with me? Oh, it's on, it's on, it's on, it's on. I've got this excitement to play footy again because I'm playing with my mates. We're making content, we're having a laugh. Uh, we're not taking it seriously at all. But on the flip side, we want to win and we want to do well this season. So the journey of the Waddle Park animals started on Saturday when we had our first ever pracky match. It's the only game we'll play between now and round one. It's been a long time in the making for us all, so we couldn't be any more pumped to be down there for our first ever Pracky match. But there's some excitement and some trepidation. Yeah, but we're playing in the seconds today because there's no third Pracky match. Um, yeah, the only game that I played in 10 years was the biggest game of Div 12 Resis, and I couldn't get near it. Like, not playing a game for that long. You kicked I, the first goal of the game. Yeah, and I felt like, geez, how easy's footy. But yeah. <laughs> I didn't get another touch to the last yeah. term. Um, the old first kick, first goal club <laughs> is one side of the equation, but you're part of the infamous first kick, only kick <laughs> goal club. Didn't really have too many nerves. I've played over 100 games of twos footy. So, you know, with experience breeds knowledge, I was ready to rock and roll. I did miss out on uh, last season, so it was good to be back out there. How the Guernseys? They're so good. Silky smooth. They are player cut, which, like, the length of it really does expose my beer gut. There's so many times if you watch... Watch the footage back. I'm pulling my jumper down. Unfortunately for the Div 12 resis, uh, our fearless leaders and comrades, Shrey and Checkers, were creating internet history at the Docklands while we were out at Ringwood playing one half of a pracky game, but we cracked on without them and um, tried to make the most of it. Now, we were only playing a half of one game because the Waddle Park animals have so many numbers. And the boys were so excited to play this game that they started warming up with the first group that was playing the first half. And I turned to everyone and I said, oh, well, if we're not playing for another hour and 15 minutes, I'm probably going to chill out and just wait to get my body right. And Dossie said to me, sorry, mate, I can't kick the footy. My hamstrings <laughs> will go. I'm like, mate, we're kicking the ball 10 metres to each other. We finally warmed up and got prepared for the game, got some run-throughs, hit some targets. The teams got announced and I was put in the midfield. Bailey McCabe was named in the ruck. Bailey McCabe's done some editing for me over the years. Bailey McCabe runs the Ball Magnets Instagram page. So we know that this guy has football knowledge and nous. But how does he go in the ruck? Yeah, well, the coach came over and said, Baz, you, do you want to give us a chop out in the ruck? And I said to myself, not really. To him, I said, yep. Well, one, I was I was scared about his cardiovascular system just blowing up after the first two minutes. And then I looked at him and I said, I'm taller than this bloke. But to be honest, the first ball up of our entire season grabs it out the ruck and feeds the handball, which was beautiful. Once the ball got handballed wide, there was a bit of a scrimmage. I waited on the outside. Like a good outside midfielder does, the ball comes out to me. And I thought, you beauty, I've got an early touch of the, the pill. I could have told you he was going to get holding the ball as soon as he laid his <laughs> hands on it. He had so much time <laughs> as well. So much he had time. so much time. I was disappointed, but I wasn't surprised. There was no talk from anybody. Tell me I'm hot. Jared Davis is a absolute force, to be honest. He he can accumulate the footy, especially off half back. I've never seen someone volunteer to play at half back as much as the great man. It was a good mark by our team at the top of the 50. Jared Davis swings on pass. And as I'm running past, someone's running right next to me. 
And I'm like, well, there's two of us. There's no way he's going to give me the handball now. So I sort of slowed down until he gave it. And I was like, oh, I'm, I'm about to get smashed here. I'm a little bit panicked. Mate, no, you, you didn't. kicked it from about 40 out and the wind helped you on the way. He thought he was Trent McKenzie for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Now, the great Rog man prides himself on the pre-season fitness. He prides himself on his ability to get up and get amongst the contest, but his foot skills aren't his greatest asset. People will blame me for that inside kick that may have uh, gone straight to them and cost us a score, but I blame Jared Davis. I said it on the field, even though he kicked it, genuinely eight meters over my head after I was screaming at him. I, I give him full license because that is how I get about 50% of my touches. I look in the middle, there he is, and I go to switch the play. Uh, maybe it came off the side of my boot, but it wasn't my fault that I kicked it there. It's Jared Davis's. I found myself at a uh, at a ruck contest in the Ford Pocket. I was one of the only players there. There was about four or five Aquinas blokes. I said to Fletch, if you get it, I'm right at, I'm right in your pocket here, brother. Cleanest hit out you'll ever see. Straight into my lap. Have eyes for goal. Kick it. Oh, where's it gone? He's gone out in the full. I didn't I didn't I hadn't taken you for a roving puppet player, but mate, the way you took that. <laughs> It was genuinely butter on bread, mate. I was horny. Half time, the boys have had a absolute crack and a half. Like we were only playing two quarters of footy, and I was um, I was a puffing Billy at half time. Yeah, I was surprised to see that Dossie had enough um, had enough energy to be vlogging at half time with uh, <laughs> with Roggy. All I know is that if if I said to Tommy, mate, can you get the vlog cam out at half time? <laughs> I don't know how that would go down. Jamie, hey, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, having out four, which is not ideal, but you know, that, that happens in footy, unfortunately. But I did kick one, didn't I? Yeah, I remember it. There you go. I was oh. trying to kick it. A few kicks, but a few turnovers. Biting off the inside kick. I think it might just become a bit of a long down the line. No, no. I'd want you to keep backing yourself in. Because they're there. I agree with that. Yeah. And eventually you'll hit them. So I think I had touched the ball twice. Once was holding the ball in the first quarter, and the other time I chiseled one out and hit a target. I was feeling frustrated. I'm like, there's only one quarter to go before our first and only Pracky match is done. I don't want to be going into round one knowing that I touched the ball once in a game. So I was hoping that I could get a little bit more busier. And I felt like I started the quarter pretty well. Doss really did get busy in the second half. It was very impressive. I think he got to half time and he only had the one or two touches and he knew that he's the captain. He's the skipper. He's the one that's meant to be leading the way and taking us to the promised land. We're down by a few goals. Someone needs to stand up. It's certainly not Will Taylor at full forward. Certainly not no trainings McCabe in the ruck. It has to be me. If it is to be, it's up to me. So McDonald took the game by the scruff of the neck. It sort of takes him 10 to 15 just to get into the flow of the game a little bit. But once he's in, he's on fire. And the ball, is he's, he's, he becomes a magnet to the footy. Yeah, Doss got to work. Far out, Dossie turned it on, Doss return of the Mac <laughs> I, Macklemore. I don't know uh, if he punched in his card for the first half, but uh, he was working overtime in the second half. Mate, he left the parking lot without paying. <laughs> he <laughs> emptied his pockets and he, he had a couple of extras in there. I don't know if it's when I got dragged off with the blood rule because I copped one in the nose and I was pissing out blood, but for some unbeknown reason I miss Will Taylor's goals. When he marks the ball, I'm at halfback and I'm screaming at everyone in the forward line, someone give him a lead. Give him a lead. Just someone lead at him because there's no way he kicks this. Full extension, Taylor! <laughs> Full extension! Get off him! Jared Overs didn't help that he was yelling for someone to lead up to me. No phase in his teammate whatsoever. And I've been working re really hard on my set shot routine. I pride myself on my penetration skills, but the penetration you've got on a football is like no other. And you just dobbed it. You fucking dobbed it, Tails. Mate, these baby cows on my legs, uh, they're not there for shows. <laughs> Papa goes big with the with the footy. Papa goes bring bring. He goes big big. Um, and if I'm honest, it's a little bit, might be a controversial take, but with the wind, against the wind, and basically a dead pocket, I think the only way that you can actually get that to go through the goals is if you miskick it. Yeah, well, this was concerning, really concerning with 
literally five seconds to go in the second quarter slash game of our pr- only pracky match till the season starts. Um, I thought, I want one more touch of the pill. So I ran, picked it up. As I got tackled, I gave a little handball out. This bloke grabs me. I try to lower my center of gravity when I get tackled. I might have to go down to Max Viney to learn how to get tackled, but I tried to lower my center of gravity and my ankle, as we're like both about to slide on the ground, gets caught in the grass. As it gets caught in the grass and we're rotated over, my knee clicked and like popped and cracked and made this awful sound. And my ankle got caught. And as we rotated over, um, the whole ankle got stretched. And I turned back around and he's still on the ground in a in a fetal position. <laughs> <laughs> when he got rolled in the tackle, I, at first I thought he'll be right. This is nothing serious here. It's just your standard tackle. But then when he stayed down for the next couple of minutes, I did run over. And the first words I said to him was, Doth, is it serious? And you said, probably not. And then I was like, well, why are we still on the deck, mate? Why are we still on the deck? And then the commotion sort of dies down a little bit. And then I just look to the to the right and Doss is on all fours, sort of writhing in pain. And I'm like, oh no, <laughs> oh no. Our, our, our spirit leader has, has done his ACL in the final two seconds of a practice match. Uh, thankfully, you know, we're three or four days post the game and the ankle feels okay. Um, it's it's like stiff and sore and it's hard to put shoes on and whatnot, but the ankle feels okay. Um, so I think I'm still on for the round one debut for the Waddle Park Animals. ACL is sliding out for the season. Imagine and, that. Yeah, yeah. The dying, the last the four last play. Trying that to get is, one last oh, kick. I, that aside, um, how, how are you feeling about that performance? All that you that hit it. Well, I had one touch in the first quarter. Yeah. And I'm going, oh, geez. Yeah. Uh, but I reckon I had like seven or eight in that last yeah, one. I, I, I got up near it. Got a clear. It's one of the clear. It's no tackles. Yeah, great. You started off in the middle. You got pinned for holding the ball straight away. And yeah. Then, <laughs> I think maybe about three minutes later, you got taken out. Yeah. <laughs> um, but no, that last quarter, it felt like you had leather poisoning. You just couldn't couldn't get your hands off the ball. Yeah, that felt good. That made me feel like maybe I deserve to be out here <laughs> for, a, for a kick. Because you got to earn your kick in the thirds. But, um... So that was twos we played. That's a that's a level higher than what I'm. I'm not. I'm not a twos player with that. Yeah, it's it was good. You guys should be happy with it. But the fact that the the other team had to play a full four quarters. Yeah, they got a bit tired towards the end. Yeah, they? they did. So it looked like you had more legs than them, which is which is pretty. Good. I've never had big man syndrome, but uh, today I did. Bit of big dick energy. <laughs> big penis. <laughs> so, how'd you how you go? How you feel? Other than the last two minutes, how do you feel about your game? I didn't get a kick in the first, and then I felt like I was everywhere. I thought second. you were everywhere in the second as well. Oh, go away, McDonald. I reckon I got seven or eight touches. So there you go, guys. Our first practice match is done and dusted. We have our first game of the season in a couple of weeks' time. It's going to be the week after Gather Round, so cannot wait to debut for the Wattle Park Animals in the Vaffa Thirds. Um, I can't wait to bring you guys along with the vlogs. Um, let me know in the comments if there's any way I can do these differently. Like, obviously, um, I'm learning how to make a footy vlog. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any advice. But um, I appreciate the support, and we'll see you for round one. Go the animals! Go the animals!